My name is Martin Stift. I'm associate professor at the Institute for Astronomy, Vienna University, Austria. My research concentrates mainly on the modeling of the atmospheres of magnetic stars. For these calculations, I have to deal with huge amounts of atomic data, and then I have to solve differential equations hundreds of thousands of times. And so I have to write this code in a way that it can execute on massively parallel computers. I wanted to modify and to extend an existing Fortran program to have a better modeling of these uh, stars. And I simply couldn't do it in Fortran. Everything became too difficult and too complicated. And I was looking for another language. One day the student came with a program completely written in ADA and I could see the structure of this program and the whole philosophy behind ADA and it was so convincing for me that from this time I've only programmed in ADA and I've never used any other language since. It's so powerful that you can have uh, such a high level of abstraction in your expressions then there's a strong typing which enables the compiler to carry out very extensive static checks. And then of course uh, there are all these parallel constructs that allow you to carry out massively parallel computations. And of course it's also object oriented and very flexible. ADA is a very good language for teaching uh, software engineering because it's so readable. So all the concepts of object orientations are very clearly seen by the students and it's much easier than with most other languages. My name is Katharina Pischoff, I'm a student at Vienna University and I'm a student of Professor Stift. And I'm doing my PhD and I'm using ADA to write an astrophysical code. If you know programming, if you know the basic concepts about loops and something like this, it's just, it's just the syntax and that's easy to learn. This code is, is about um, stellar atmospheres, so it's about the outer layers of a star and the radiation transport in these layers. Yes, it's about 20,000 lines of code. It's the biggest program I've ever worked on, so I don't know if it's a global scale big program, I don't think so, but in, in my opinion it's a large program. <laughs> I would uh, like to tell the scientific community that ADA is eminently suited for many, if not most, purposes. Uh, in scientific computing that it's safe and that it's parallel and that it's object-oriented. It's as simple as that. <laughs>